All right, you fellas, today we'll check out another Chrome text effect here in Photoshop, and this time it's gonna be a colorful one. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a 1080p artboard size, and for the font, I chose the Planet Cosmos Regular. So the main point is to choose a rounded font because the effect is going to work way better on a rounded font than on a sharp edged font. So let's go and double click on the layer with the text, open up the layer style, and first we're gonna go to the color overlay, select it, and let's go to the color and change it to black. Click OK. Now let's go to the bevel and emboss. First, I'm gonna go to the shadow mode, change it to white, click OK. Highlight mode opacity is gonna be 75. Shadow mode opacity is gonna be 100. Now let's go and change up the highlight blend mode. I'm gonna select the difference. We're gonna do the same thing at the shadow mode. Let's select the difference. Now we can go up here, go to Technique and select Chisel Hard. Here at the Depth, I'm going to go with 540. Size is going to be 120. Now this looks pretty cool already, but I'm going to need to increase it a little bit more. So it's going to be 100% chiseled. So it's going to be 130. Let's go to the Shading. Angle is going to be 75. Altitude, 60. Let's go to Gloss Contour and change it to the second one. I also gotta need to activate the contour. Let's go to the contour options, change it to this guy right here, go to range, decrease it to 50. And from here, we're gonna activate the stroke and we also gonna need to make two strokes. So I'm gonna click on the plus. So we got the top stroke and the bottom stroke. So I'm gonna select the top stroke, size is gonna be one. Let's go to position outside. Opacity is gonna be 50 and color is gonna be white. Click OK. Now let's go to the second stroke. The second stroke is also going to be white. And here the size, we're going to go up to 10. The position is going to be inside. Opacity is going to be 80. Now let's activate the inner shadow. Blend mode, change it to normal. And the color, I'm going to choose this sort of blue right here. And click OK. Opacity is going to be 100. Angle is going to be on default, 75. Distance, 32. Choke, 10. And the size, 55. And let's go to the contour and change it to the second one. So it's going to emphasize the colors. And now, at least, I'm also going to add some outer glow. And this is going to be blue as well. Some of the same color, probably something like this. Click OK. Opacity, 50. Increase the size. And click OK. Now I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, convert smart object. And to remove the anti-aliasing, we're gonna to go to the filter, blur, select Gaussian blur. I'm gonna go with the radius on 0.5, click OK. And we're also gonna add some noise, add noise. And this is gonna be on 8%, click OK. So pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.